What's up guys, it's the Sluices here, and today I'm going somewhere crazy to go metal detecting. The heart of Christchurch. And I don't mean near the city, I mean right in the very centre of the city. For those of you who don't know, Christchurch is New Zealand's second slash third biggest city, with just under 400,000 people. And going right through the centre of the city is the famous Avon River. And either side of this river, there are little green strips of grass. Now, thousands of people bustle past here every day, so I thought surely it would be a great place to be detecting. With people around everywhere, all the eyes were on us, but as you will soon see, it was totally worth it. Hope you enjoy this hunt. <laughs> So I'm, a, I'm detecting here, and my first ever tar first target didn't even need to start swinging the detector. And look at this, it's the oldest coin I have ever found, 1879, Queen Victoria on the back, 1879 British one penny, holy crap that is a good find. First target, didn't even need to dig, what a score, keep going. No junk dug, next target, solid 21, 22. New Zealand, $2. We are on the finds here, let's go. Dug 30 modern cents in an old 20 cents and got our next good find. This was ringing up a solid 27. Um, I tried to be careful digging it, but it scraped it with the shovel right there. But it's a 1922 British one penny, so another awesome old find. Look at this guys, really solid 25, one depth, straight away popped it out, look at this, my first ever silver ring, S925 on there, it's not huge chunky, but that is silver, an awesome silver ring there, just about that deep, flipped it out right off the bat, always dig everything, that is awesome, stoked, we that to the collection. Next old coin, beautiful King George V, 1915, one penny. That one's pretty nice. Not going to need to put that in vinegar or anything. You can see everything perfectly on there. Really solid wee penny there. Lots of pennies here. I've found a total of, what, three pennies now and a half penny. Um, all really old ones, but no silvers. Fingers crossed. Well, silver ring, but keep going was going a long streak with no targets but got a nice 19 bouncing onto 21 deep target dug it out Queen Victoria on the back that 1884 one penny second oldest coin I've ever got of course it was that older one earlier but there is another nice penny just a heap of pennies here one half penny maybe someone else has been over it and they've just missed all the pennies that might be it I'm thinking but either way heaps of promise Keep going. All right, so I just looked at a break. I've dug by the looks of it about 60, 70 targets. They have started to get more few and far between, I think, and past the best ground. But we have about 20 bottle caps, three pieces of can slaw, a few massive, just random bits of metal, no significance, three little sheets of copper, part of a key, about a dollar fifty in spendable coins, a um, bunch of pull tabs, only five or six, which is pretty good. Um, a ring, some thing, uh, part of, I believe, a shell of a bullet, an actual bullet, this was an old one, big lead bullet, not sure what that's from, we have Australian two cents, New Zealand one cent, New Zealand two cent, a old New Zealand 20 cent, a 1944 New Zealand half penny, 1922 one penny, British, 1915 British one penny, and 1918 84 British one penny so that is a very good find and what would have to be the find so far it's not very chunky it's probably only about literally a few dollars worth of silver but this 925 beautiful condition sterling silver ring I could wear that if I wanted actually it fits me very much perfectly but that is a first ever silver ring 
So I've been joined by my mate Ethan. He's using the good old Gold Monster 1000 in the park and I'm using the Equinox. And his first target was a double 10 cent pole, which is a solid buy, keep going. Starting to get late, we haven't got much more, just a few dollars um, here and there. We just found this, it's a token from the International Antarctic Centre, which is at, out at Christchurch Airport. It's a major attraction in the area. And so that's a token from it, which is kind of cool. So we'll collect that. Hey, so I've got all the day's finds cleaned up from metal detecting in the middle of Christchurch. And here's what we have. Despite our really insane coin at the very start, there actually wasn't too much. I reckon it's definitely been over. Uh, yeah, been been over. No silver coins or anything. Um, and yeah, most of the ground, there were massive patches where there were just nothing. And you'd occasionally get little clusters of targets. So here's what we got. So we have this lead bullet. Got that one, I believe, off camera. Which that's kind of cool. That wasn't too deep actually. Somewhat new. There's a cool wee find there. That lead bullet. We have 10, 10 cent pieces. Um, which is a lot. Obviously it's the middle of town. So heaps of people are going to be walking by. And losing cash. All of those were obviously quite shallow. Because they're freshly dropped. We then have. Two New Zealand two cent coins. These ring up really well. You obviously have to dig them. One New Zealand one cent. So that indicates those ones there indicate there are definitely patches that haven't been detected over because any detector would have got those. But once again, few and far between. And then we have the Australian two cent coin, which is quite cool as well. We have the New Zealand 20, old 20 cent coin, essentially just worth 20 cents still. Nothing crazy. Full one, New Zealand 20 cents. Once again, spendies, lots get dropped, especially because you're in the middle of town. Two New Zealand 50 cent coins. Both of those are still in spendable condition as well, which is nice. Two New Zealand dollars. This one was quite deep. This was like a three to four depth. Um, and we calculated that that area must have been regrassed. It is a 1991, so it is, what, 32 years old. But that ha that was quite deep, that one. Luckily, the, unlike the lower denominations, the one and two dollars are actually still made out of good metal. So they don't rot away. So we have two one dollars and two two dollars. So in total we have about nine dollars worth of spendies. We've got these old coins. We have this key, part of a key. Um, various bits of copper. Not much, but once again copper is actually worth a wee bit. There's probably about a dollar worth of copper there, I'd say. You then have 1944 New Zealand half penny. Just cool we find. This International Antarctic Centre token that just says International Antarctic Centre on it. Flip it round and it's got the little blue penguins on there. It's not worth anything but a cool wee collector's token. And finally the top five finds. So we have a 1922 British one penny. That on its own would be one of my oldest coins we've ever found outside of today. So that is awesome. But then we have a 1915 British one penny. Which before today would have been my second oldest coin. And then have a 1884 British half pen, British one penny, Queen Victoria on the back there. That is awesome. And then we have the 1879 British one penny, which is the oldest coin I've ever found. Look at that, it's beautiful there, that is awesome. No silvers, but some awesome old pennies. Funnily enough, they're all the all the one pennies, so maybe it has just been done over and just those don't ring up good on the set person's detector. And then finally, we have my first ever piece of silver jewellery, this 0.925 sterling silver ring. It's not worth anything too crazy, but only a few dollars worth of silver in it, but is still, nevertheless, beautiful, real shallow, still beautiful condition, obviously freshly dropped. It's probably why it's still there, because no one else has ever detected over it. Look at that. 
So the find of the day would have to be either the oldest coin I've ever got or the first ever piece of silver jewelry I've ever got. Found a gold ring, but never a silver one. There's awesome Nero finds there. And for reference, that is the amount of trash we had to dig that. That is an absolute pile of garbage there. There's got to be 70, 80, 100 bits in there for that much treasure. Probably about 30 bucks worth of treasure if you're pushing it. But yeah, those are our finds. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash down on that subscribe button. And I just want to give a huge thank you to all of our channel patrons, and an extra thanks to HBJNL, the Gold Motherlode patron. If you want to see a video where we find our first ever pieces of alluvial gold with the metal detector, the video is on the screen now. But outside of that, we'll see you on the next one.